I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And here's Brown. Pass to Baldwin. From outside the arc. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Here's Graham. Baseline try. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. At the line for one. So it's the home team now. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. In that game, they were the enforcers, and they were also efficient. That's the kind of balance coaches look for. Well, easy to be efficient on nights like that when everybody has things going. Let's see if they're still in the rhythm tonight. Here's Baldwin. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Off target from three-point range. Just a bit of a rut here early, just one of four so far. Here's Brown. That one goes. Now he's one for two. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. For Athens, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Brown. 23 points for him last game against Charlotte. That one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. Hernan Gomez inside. That one no good. Gone one for three from beyond the arc. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for the away team. Number nine. And he makes a first. Good on both. For Athens, they've gone two of six to open up this game. Grant against Brown. Blocked! And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Now here's Grant. Has to be. Here's Guy. They set the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam! Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. For Athens, they've gone three of eight so far. Pass to Graham. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Guy. 14 points for him, last game against Brooklyn. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. He has six. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Brown can't hit. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. 
Got a piece of it. Grant with it. Now guarded by Brown. Basket's good. Where was the D on that one? Just too easy. Oh, wait. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three points. Both teams deciding to change it up. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. To the inside. Can't connect from short range. Athens has gone three of six from deep so far. And it's B in at the five. Got a hand on it. They recover it. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Shooting only 39% so far in the game. The 15-footer. And he knocks the jumper down. Hey, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. And it's Mr. Perfect in at the power forward position. Pass to Guy. Shot clock at six. And he comes up with a bucket. He's got 16. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Brown. And a nice finish on the layup. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Here's Guy. 16 points for him. They set a pick. Here's Hernan Gomez. They grab their own miss. Misses the baby hook. It's Brown on the wing. It's tipped. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. The three ball. Doesn't go that time. Stepped on the line. Out of bounds there. And that will cost him a possession. Athens has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Mr. Perfect, looking for his first basket still in this one. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Fires it. And they recover it. To the middle. From deep. Oh, and that miss makes him 0 for 4. Not a great start. Athens shooting around 53%, a nice number. Spins. Hernan Gomez on the wing. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And he's battling for everything, doing all he can to help extend their lead. <laughs> Just throwing down the putback with authority. Now, nah, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Pass to Hernan Gomez. 
Second shot opportunity. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Taking two shots. And we've reached halftime in this one. Leading by six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And it's time for an injury report. I got some news from Athens head athletic trainer. Unfortunately, from the sound of things, it looks to be a torn calf muscle. This could be a long and painstaking process, not something you come back from overnight, guys. All we can hope for is that the prognosis isn't as bad as it seems, guys. Yeah, we were hoping for much better news, and obviously, not very encouraging. Yeah, we always think about when players go down, how terrible a blow it can be for the team. We wish him well and hope he's on the floor quickly. Brown's gone three of nine tonight from the field. Inside. Oh, they pick off the pass. And they're running. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got four rebounds in the game. Second half getting started. About a minute play. Here's Vildoza. Blocked. They've been unable to hit anything this half. Three attempts and three misses. It's stolen. The floater and the layup is up and in. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. It's Brown on the wing. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Substitution for the away team. Number 45. Substitution on the court. Shooting for the away team. Number 14. One shot. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Athens has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Brown. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Can't hit from in close. Gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Here's Webb. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. To the paint. That's tipped. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Shot clock at two. Off target on the 15-footer. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. And he recovers it. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Ball is turned over. Athens ball. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Can't get it to drop. Got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's Cleveland. Knocks down the triple. He's got 14. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. 65. Up by 15. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Down low. Oh, ripped away. And here's the fast break. Oh, deflected. Launches it. Nails it from beyond the arc. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Two points. That one goes. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Defended by Brown. No good from 11 feet. Shooting at 45% of the game so far. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Free throw good. Brown. So both teams changing it up here. And both free throws good for Brown. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Here's Vildoza, defended by Brown. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. Shooting for Athens, Luca Vildoza. First free throw is good. Sonata Kumpo's checked in for Hernan Gomez. To the wing, right side. They get it back, goes back up. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Good work there as it goes. Well, their plan working to perfection there, if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. It's not going to go for him. Got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Here's Baldwin. Back to Brown. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. 144 left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Guy. Pass to Vildoza. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Man, the defender really went after him. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And he makes both free throws. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. They get it again. And the jam by Kumpo. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And there's a pick. And here's Brown for three. 
the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Here's Guy. Can't hit it from 12 feet. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Here's Brown. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Here's Guy. And so the home crowd treated to a win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game.